So in this problem, we've got the probability of winning on a slot machine on any one go is 0.08. Part A, find the probability that a player wins on the sixth attempt. So we are working with a geometric distribution with a probability of 0.08. So part A, find the probability that a player wins on the sixth attempt. That's the probability of x being equal to 6. So they've got to lose five times, so 0 0.92 to the power of 5, and then win on the sixth attempt. So 0.92 to the power of 5 times 0 0.08, and we get 0 0.0527 to four decimal places. OK, so part B. Find the probability that it takes at most 10 attempts to win. So at most 10 is the same as the probability of x being less than or equal to 10. So that is one take away the probability of x being greater than 10. Now the probability of x being greater than 10 is the same as saying uh, what's the probability of the player losing on all of the first 10 goes. So that would be one take away 0.92 to the power of 10. So one take away 0.92 to the power of 10, and we get 0.5656 to four decimal places. So part C, given that a player has already had five unsuccessful attempts, find the probability that it takes another three attempts to win. Now you could go down a conditional probability route here, but what this question is really asking is it's trying to make sure that you understand what a geometric distribution is or the properties of the geometric distribution. Now, the probability of winning uh, is independent of the of winning the next game. Okay, so the same with losing. So the trials are all independent. So actually, given that a player has already had five unsuccessful attempts, it doesn't matter if they've had five unsuccessful attempts. The question is just asking: find the probability that it takes three attempts to win. So this question is just the same as me asking, what's the probability of x being equal to 3? So that could have been 500 unsuccessful attempts. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter what's come before because the probabilities are independent. So this would be 0 0.92 to the power of 2, so fail twice and then win. So 0 0.92 squared times by 0 0.08, and we get 0 0.0677 to four decimal places.